So here we go. The one was about to end. We'll be starting off right now. I'm just praying that the settings are correct. So yeah, 100 points limit for one. So here we go. This sorry. So we're just gonna stay with Nick for now. I believe the map is Fair Dinkum by Edamami. I think most of the maps are all Edamami. So the one, yep, not surprising. Goose is currently in the lead, followed by Speedy and Nick. Homo seems to have a poor start, so it's languishing behind quite a bit. As we go to the ice sector right here, fenced by a bit by the dirt. You got the ice. Uh, a bit weird design choice, but there you go. And uh, wow, by a snipe, Smitty is ahead of Goose at the end there, followed by Nick and Poma. So good stuff from Smitty, which is a surprise one because you expect Goose to be straight out of the block. So quite good for Team Beach at the moment. Because Nick and Poma have the. Uh, you know, representing the simply people, not say the word because I get mad. But yeah, here we go, second round of the map. Planetary goes only in the lead. Actually, it's much closer this time. Pomo is again Langship behind. Maybe not with the best of starts either. Oh, looks to have oversteer. I have not really shown the correct lines here. Really now okay, it looks like Penny Goose have a bit of a moment, so lost a bit of time there. But Poma loses out after transition. Oh, Nick hits the wall and looks like again, Smitty and Goose are the top two yet again. But it's now Poma that ends up in third and Nick is already having a moment by beating this map. Triple minus. So, not a good start for the Simply people at the moment. Here we go, the third round is right underway. Nick seems to have a better start this time round, so can the fortunes be reversed right now? Goose is with him though, so it'll be interesting to see if Nick can catch up to the supposed favorite for this match. Pomo and Smitty now catching up. Nick doesn't seem to figure out the lines just yet, because he's already losing out to Pomo here, his teammate, supposedly. We're still in the lead in the ice sector we go. Goose is going to beat wide, Smitty going for the wrist. And has done so, but and oh, and Nick clips the wall. Unfortunately, Goose and Smitty, who is gonna win? It's Goose. Finally, he takes his first win of the match. Smitty by only two hundreds of a second. Oh, great round! Jeez, <laughs> yeah, a bit of a typo there from Goose, but yeah, that was indeed a great round. But yeah, Nick's not having a great time at the moment. I won't be surprised on his stream. He. Not having a great time, for sure. But yeah, here we go. Goose actually with a poor start than every other round so far. Apparently that he has his horn on the analog stick as well. I do as well, so yeah, a bit interesting to hear the default horn being used at the moment. Nick and Poma, the top two at the moment, but Goose with the greatest of ice sectors as whole well, taken the top two. Smini going for the wrist again, but it will be enough. Maybe, but he loses a bit of time going wide. And it looks like Goose again will win that round again. Followed by Smitty. Four more. And Nick. Nick's just having a moment yet again. Because he down. So, wow. Just like that. Goose and Smitty are ahead. Well, not ahead. They're tied on 34 points. So, let's go on to the second map. So, apparently... uh. During the, you know, there was supposed to be a pick and bend phase for the semi-finals, but apparently because the matches were on at the same time, we, the organizer himself, Adamami, had to forego this pick and bend stuff and just decided to go for the usual, you know, playing through all five maps of this uh, finals map pack. So, let's see what's the next map. It's Hard Yaka by Adamami. Again, I unfortunately, do, well, I have been watching Edamami cast all these qualifiers before, but I have not been really be doing my research because as I said, this is just an impromptu cast because, you know, not the first time I did it, so why the hell not? It's just that I have a little bit more difficulty trying to catch up because, you know, I'm, I, it's not AOTC obviously. And I would say Edamami had pretty much done most of the stuff. I, I'm just currently, technically I'm also doing a refereeing for this, so 
Yeah, at the moment, like, you know, the match seems fine. It's going well. But of course, I think the key question is whether... Uh, All right, back into the action. Here we go. First one on Hard Yaka. Uh, Boost. It's well and truly ahead at the moment. Nick is already a second down. He is really not having a good time right now. Formal into the downhill section, which have already produced quite a few moments in the qualifiers. But it seems everyone has safe and sound. Wait, Goose actually. Well, Smith was actually ahead now, but then Formal hits the wall and allows allow Goose to be in the lead. As we go to this wall right, oh, Goose has a better line. Oh no, Smitty has that dreaded air time. It looks like Goose will win it by only 400 of a second. Yeah, that was unfortunate by Smitty having that little bit of air time costing him speed. Yeah, there you go. Goose again with another 10 points. I think Belly getting into the ring finish and getting that consolation prize of 3 points. Can he recover? He really needs to get something because so far he's been he's only gotten third at least once only and most of the other rounds so far are uh, only three points so I mean our fourth place sorry so he really needs to step it up if not streamer that's also having a POV stream at the moment is probably not gonna gonna have to drop down to lower back at, at the moment. Nick still in it. Not that far behind Smitty and Goose at the moment. Formal seems to be out of the running. We cannot see him. Looks like Smitty and Goose are the top two yet again. Sorry for the bit of a distraction there, but Nick finally <laughs> finishes 9 seconds now. Yeah, the two Simply Sippers are not having a grand old time at the So, yep, we're only halfway through this map and we are already seeing that the top two are again tied on 51 points. Pomo and Nick only have... 26 and 22 points respectively. Yeah, the Slimy Sippers are not having a good time at the moment at this stage. But again, they are not going to be out if they do end up being the ones that get knocked out. They are still have a low bracket final to play for and unfortunately Nick hits the wall yet again. Up to the uphill section on the engine off. Paul Mall having a better one than Midi this time. So Paul Mall might have a chance to get second if he keeps it clean for the rest of the track. Midi two tenths down on Paul Mall. Oh, Pomo touches a bit of the grass. This might allow Smitty to catch up, and he does. Unfortunate for Pomo. But again, looks like Goose is a comfortable win for him. Much, much less the competition this time out. Smitty with 7 points with second place, and wait for Nick to finish again, barely. <laughs> with that. Alright, so that's gonna be the last one for this map. Let's see if Goose can complete a clean sweep. Because if he does, he's gonna... Oh, who was that? That was Nick crashing out already. Who oh, now brings him back down to 4th place. Smitty now taking a wider line here. Has that been positive for him? Yes, it is. Catches up to Goose, but Goose looks like he has it under control at the moment. The New Zealander might have a slight advantage at the end of this map. Mini now trying to close out the gap. Pomo languishing behind now, dropping down here. Goose took a bit of grass early on, but then Smitty takes more grass at the second part. Like, yep, Goose again will win this quite comfortably by seven tenths of. Yeah, I don't sure how much practice did the Simply Supers did, but you can clearly tell that you know they might not have to.
So it's like as if they have uh, resigned themselves to the low back at final. But as I said, I've seen weirder things in Trapman and Esports. So it's definitely far from over. Because even if you reach the 100 points, you have to win in finalist mode. So uh, yeah, there have been cases where someone was in finalist mode first, but they ended up getting knocked out because they just could not finish like a particular map. So, I mean, of course, it could be that that's RNG, right? It's gonna be rough mentally for the guy that would have been knocked out that way. So hopefully you won't see that. I, but I, I'm from what we've seen so far, I think Goose and Smini have it covered at the moment. They should be the two going through to the grand final. So well, not grand final. Sorry, the uh, what's it called? The winners final. So we're just waiting for the warm up. Uh, sorry to check the map. It's Quaiki by Adamami. So I think this is like a lot of more techy sections as well. So you can clearly tell there's a lot of turns we start on. Not a lot of ice sectors. I think the it's definitely uh less wage inducing than at least. The so yeah, just hoping that the slim shippers can do a better job this time around. This be more comfortable from what I've seen. Warm up, but I'm just maybe a bit of opium coming to play because yeah, they really need a win or two, or maybe even more. Because as it seems, Venturi goes will kick us off with this round. Can he get into finalist mode by the end of this four rounds of this map? At the moment, he seems to be doing a good job of it. Bella hit of Smitty and Pom. Pom was actually going for it on this sector though, actually edging a hit, but no, makes a mistake on the drift. And let's Goose, oh, bit of uh, internet issue by Goose, but Goose seems to be fine. Otherwise, Formal still in second place. Smitty third and Nick fourth. It's actually been pretty competitive. Now Smitty now ahead by only 300, so ahead of Formal. Nick's now in second place. Wow, it's all changing, but we're just focusing on the on the lead right here. And finally, Nick does a decent result with a 43 4, but unfortunately, Goose is still ahead. 43 2. Smitty third and Formal fourth. A good. 4 points for Nick, but he is still in last place. But he needs more of that. He definitely needs more of that. We go second round of the match. We are focusing on Smitty right now. Smitty looking to try to recover a bit because that's for his first third in a long while. So maybe he's just not as comfortable on this match compared to the first two. Now Smitty and Goose. Uh, out of the top two, looks like Pomo is definitely out of running because he is not even near the second mark at the moment. Nick languishing behind, 9 tenths off the pace. Midi trying to catch up the Goose, but Goose had that outsider and you, as you know, outsider does great and grants you more uh, pace usually unless the line doesn't detect that otherwise. So to the finish, yep, again Goose wins that quite comfortably by half a second. Nick was third and we're just gonna wait for Pomo to see. This round. Yep, and he. So, yeah, you can quite clearly see. Uh, yeah, Goose just needs one more win and he will be into fights. In fact, he can easily wrap this up. He wins the next two rounds. Unless Smitty has anything to say about it. Now on Pomo, right now, it is actually much, much closer this time. No one's making it. Uh, I was gonna say making early mistake, but Nick did that early mistake. So, uh, thank you, Simply Nick. Uh, unfortunate for him. But, hey, wait, hold on. Smitty has made a mistake as well. So, Pomo might just get a second place. He's gonna go for it, but it looks might look like Ghost might be going to find small at the end of it unless he makes a mistake right now. Into the final, Pomo's going for it. Pomo's going for it, and he takes the first place of his actual first place for this whole match. Insane deny by Pomo because that means Goose will not go into final mode for this round. That is something I did not expect. Goose could have easily finished it up on this one, but it looks like he might have to wait until the at least the next map. Uh, to finalize his spot in the at least the win either the winners final or the grand final. But I mean it should be grand final. I mean it doesn't make sense it's, it's a winners final. I think there should be a winners final, but I, I'm not certain.
But here we go. Whoa, looks like Boost is now having a moment because he is nowhere to be found. But Nick is actually ahead of Smitty as it stands right now. Nick on the outside. The, it's actually, this might be his best round of the match unless he makes a critical error at this point. We are on the last two sectors and I've seen the commentators because has struck again and it allows Smitty to take that 10 points instead. Unlucky. Boost. If only 5 points, is that going to be enough to get the final? Yes, of course, obviously, but yeah, um, that is actually more beneficial to Smitty because he manages to at least have a chance to deny Goose to take his first spot in the Grand Final. But now we are moving on to the 4th map in map pool. Alright, so I just need to see who is first match woman. Oh, first match. I mean the fourth match of the match. Sorry. It's drop bear by Edamon. I think this is probably my least known one because I don't think I was there when drop bear was a thing. So apologies for my lack of map knowledge. But this is the chance for Goose to get his spot in the grand final. So Smitty should be well. I don't see gets uh, well. He, he could try to win it and get to find smoke himself because that would make for a tantalizing closure to the match. But if not, he has a lot of time because as it stands, Former and Nick are only halfway through the points reputation limit, so he has a lot of time to get into the grand final as well. We'll have to wait and see if things will go his way. But yeah, goes definitely the upper hand right here. Also, a lot of time to waste, obviously. But as I said, I've seen weird things in China Esports and people have choked on, you know, when they went into fine smoke. So hopefully we won't see that because that is absolutely gut wrenching for whoever, you know, that who's ever in that position, obviously. Alright, here we go. The first map. I'm sorry. First round of Drop Bear by the Mummy. Let's see if Goose can clear this one out. Nick's trying to go for it. Looking to use his tech expertise, but doesn't seem to have gone that well. Goose is well and truly a hit. Three tens. Speedy might doesn't seem to like this man because he's coming last. And as it stands, he will not have enough points to go into final mode. So doesn't look like anyone can deny Goose at the moment unless he makes a critical error right now. Nick now four tens. Smitty has gone up to third place, so it does help a bit. But again, if it stands as it stands right now, it doesn't really matter because yeah, Smitty has a lot of time. Get into finally mode. Nick still in second place, but yeah, looks like Goose will be the first person, or should I say the uh, second or third person to get in the grand final? Because I'm actually having this like other match going on, and looks like someone has already gone into the grand final. So yeah, congrats to Goose for getting into the grand final. So we are waiting for one more person to get into the grand, uh, at least the winners final. Why do I keep saying win grand final? It's winners final. Yep, Smitty only missing out. So he needs to at least try to finish race one round, you know, to get the points necessary to enter into final mode. Right, got a little bit distracted there, but it looks like Smini and Puma are currently in the lead. Oh, they are going for it. Nick's actually not that far behind as well. Let's see what's gonna happen next. It's still all to game for as we go on to the last sausage jump right here. Smini looks to have it. Looks to have it. Whoa, Nick really going for it, but it was not enough. And Smini, uh, well, he doesn't really need that many points because regardless, he will be the first, second person to get into fights more in. Nice. So unless Nick and Pomo win five times in a row, it looks like it's well, it's not really curtains for Nick, because there is still a lower bracket final. So Oh, someone's made a critical and it's me, the guy that's in front of this one has hit the wall. So Pomo might be might have a chance. He's mancing an opportunity right here. To get himself back into the game. Smitty now eight tenths off. Oh, Pomo with a huge, huge error there. 
But Nick might... Uh, I was gonna say might save his teammate there. But he also crashes and completely messes it up. And it looks like he might have DNF because he knows that it might just be over. And he's already left the match. Unfortunate. But it's not definitely not gonna be out just yet. I hope he knows that. Because there is still a low back and fire to go. But yep, that is GG to Smitty as he goes on to the winner's final. Upper back and fire, if you wanna call it that way. Yep, unfortunate. So yep, GG to everyone involved, and that is it for semi-final two of the semi-final stage of all STM finals. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for listening or well watching it or listening in because actually there isn't doing that at the moment. This is gonna be on my YouTube, so stay tuned for the vote viewers and uh yeah, you guys enjoyed that. See you guys very soon. Bye bye.